Well folks, looks like we're living in the 21st century, and yes, we got robots roaming around our house. Don't feel scared guys, they won't take over just yet. But we got robots that can telecommunicate for us. Also, we got air purifying robots that can go and help clean our airs. Lastly, we got little hockey puck style robots that basically go around our house, clean our floors, make them nice and shiny, mop our floors, vacuum our floors. Well, we got a brand new product. This is called the Focus Odin 5 F3 printer. Yeah, that's a terrible name. That name is super long. I have no clue where they come up with that name. But I'm just going to call it the F3. Okay, so this is basically a 3D printer that you could basically print out anything. You could print out robots, you could print out toy cars, you could make parts, um, you could basically make a tic tac shooter, whatever your imagination is, you can do this with this cool 3D printer. And this is my very first. 3D printer I've had, so we'll see if this is a complete disaster, or we'll see if this printer is actually worthwhile. So, instead of just printing stuff on paper, now you can print in 3D. So, I decided to print out a cat, yes, an actual, like, Chinese cat, and it looks like it's off to a great start. It starts from the base there, and kind of works its way up, and I suspect this print is going to take a very long time. I believe it took five and a half hours, so I'm going to come back in a few minutes, I'm going to check up on it, and we'll see how well the focus does. And look at this, guys. What? I didn't ask for a boat. Okay, there's something wrong. Hold on. Well, when Focus asked me if I'd like to review their 3D printer, I was super excited. Also, I was scared at the same time because I never had a 3D printer in my life. So I was worried about the setup process. I was worried about how hard it is to get started and if my 3D prints would look like, I don't know, something you see in the movies where it just belts and becomes a complete disaster. Well, thankfully, the Focus Odin 5 F3 wasn't the case. It was super simple to set up. I was able to get started within 20 minutes. And check this out, guys. My cat looks like a cat. Yes, it's one of those, uh, I believe, Japanese cats that have the waving little hands. Also, my boat looks like a boat. This is a really cool little tugboat. So my daughter loves playing with this thing. But yes, I was able to create these two prints without any uh, hassles. But in this video, I'll explain why the Odin F3 is a super easy printer and why it's recommended for beginners. So basically, if I can do it, you guys can do it too. Okay, so let's talk about the reasons why the F3 is super easy to set up. Well, it's just held on by four bolts. Yes, that's right. So out of the box, all you have to do is just unwrap everything and you just lift up this main frame and you install the four hex screws on either side. And it does come with additional uh, screws, which is really nice. So for example, you happen to lose one, don't worry, you're covered. Also, all the tools necessary to adjust the machine, to set up the machines all there for you. Okay, so Focus stopped everything. They didn't just stop there. They also provide some additional accessories. You got a nice PC cable, so you can connect this printer directly to your computer and use the Focus Slice software, which is pre-installed on this little micro SD card slot. So yes, you can actually install the software and customize your own designs. Now, with this micro SD card slot, these pre-installed designs are there. So if you want to just get started right away, you do have the option. Also, this printer does support Wi-Fi, so you can do a wireless communication as well. You got additional nozzles. So these are called V6 nozzles, and a lot of people like this style. Older printers or other styles uh, use an MK8 style, which some people do not like. Don't ask me why, but that's just uh, what I've heard. Okay, so the next thing is the way this guy is designed. Uh, most of these printers in this price category, this guy is priced at $299, but I will provide an $80 coupon down below, so check out my link if you're interested. So $220, this thing has a double motor Z axis. What does that mean? Well, there's two motors on each of the axis or the Z axis, which allows a very smooth up and down, so it provides no binding with some printers only have a single motor which causes binding. So that's really cool. I'm glad that Focus uh, went with, with this design. Next, let's talk about the filament. So it does come with the PLA filament included out of the box. You can get additional filament. But I really like PLA. It's very flexible. And for the temperatures, you preheat the bed at 60 degrees. And for your nozzle, it's uh, 200 degrees to 220. Ideally, I put it at about 200 degrees. Okay, so the, for the feeding design for, or for the filament, Feed, it's a direct drive system. Uh, there's a Bolton style that some printers use, which is like a tube style, and they put their feeder towards the back here. Well, Bolton styles, it kind of puts additional strain on the feeder, so I prefer a direct drive system. Makes loading and unloading the filament super easy. Okay, so once you got everything built, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the machine. You guys can hear the boot up process and how loud the machine is. There's a physical power switch in the back here. 
And that's it. Just within a few seconds, it shows the logo and it's uh, booted up. So it's not too loud. I'm able to talk over it. And you notice you can hear the two fans here. There's one fan to blow directly on the project. And you got a fan for your extruder as well. So it's pretty quiet. Kind of reminds me of like a PC fan. And I was able to play at night in the other room without disturbing a lot of people. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this guy off. All right, so let's let's talk about the interface. So the interface is very nice. It's a three and a half inch display. It's full color, so it really makes it very easy to navigate the different menus. So once you get everything built, the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, calibrate the machine. So whenever you move the machine, it's recommended to calibrate. So all you have to do is just take a standard printing paper. It's an A4 size, and you just put it on the bed. And what you do is you go through the calibration menu, and you start from the top right corner or if you're facing the machine uh, bottom left corner and what you do is you start there and you just kind of slide the paper around until the extruder touches the paper and just kind of bring it down a little bit more until it feels slight resistance. I do use my pointer and uh, thumb just to feel around so I don't grab the paper too hard. So if you put the extruder down too much you will scratch the bed. Unfortunately the bed is pretty easy to scratch so just use light pressure on that paper and just go around in a circle and you should be able to uh, calibrate everything. The calibration process is super easy and you just use these uh, thumb screws down below. So once you got everything calibrated, next thing you do is install your filament. Now the machine is programmed to be almost idiot proof. So if you forget to preheat the bed or you forget to preheat the extruder, well it'll automatically do that for you. So please set the uh, extruder to 200 if you're using the PLA filament that's included. Also your bed is recommended to be at 60. Now let's talk about the workable area or the bed size. It's a 235 by 235 and it's 250 up. So that's your workable area. That's how big uh, your model can be. So it's a pretty good size for this size uh, printer. Okay, so once you got the filament installed, uh, one tip is once you put the filament in this little hole there, which right there, uh, apply some pressure because it may take some force to get the uh, direct drive feeder to catch and pull the filament through. But you will be able to feel the filament and everything's uh, automated so it will preheat the filament first and then once it's ready it will let you know and then you can press OK and actually feed in the filament. So you can't really feed the filament without the extractor head being warm. Okay, so I do like the fact that it does have this little sleeve here. And this helps uh, keep the extruder warm. Um, so this is the B6 style extruder uh, style. So it's pretty nice. I know some printers use MKA. I don't know the exact difference, but B6, a lot of people like to uh, go with. Okay, so once you get everything set up, all you have to do is just go through the menus and you can use the pre-installed prints here or you can hook up the printer with a PC or use Wi-Fi and use the focal slicer and create your own designs. So, uh, for example, with this little cat, it took about five and a half hours to print. And for the little tugboat, it took about two and a half hours. You do have the option to speed up the print, but I don't recommend going over 200 because the faster it goes, it gets a little messy and you won't get a good quality print. Okay, so that was just a big, sick uh, review and overview of the Focus for Odin 5 F3 printer. I really like this and a huge shout out to Focos. They really did do a good design and it's very easy to use. It's uh, basically idiot proof. So if you have any problems, read the instructions, but everything's there. And you can always ask me questions down below. I'll be more than happy to try to assist with any issues you have with the Focus. Okay, so have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the links if you're interested in buying this and uh, be safe out there. Adios.